What's up, y'all? This your girl, G with the T. This your first time here on my channel. Please be sure to that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Tonight, I just want to kick it with y'all about fake relationship titles, and it do exist. Like, it's a lot of people in 2024 in toxic, unhealthy relationships. They just got the title, whether that's a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend title, even marriages. People was in unhealthy marriages for the wrong reasons. They're not even happy. A lot of y'all be getting into relationships looking for a sponsorship, not a relationship. Y'all don't want to be with that person. Y'all don't even like the person y'all see with at night, but y'all stay around because they the breadwinner and they help paying all the bills. That's why it's so important to have your independence and not allow somebody to carry all the weight in a relationship. If you can work, I would recommend you to work. If you can better yourself in your relationship, I would recommend you to better yourself. Go back to school. Do what you got to do to take care of your business. You don't want to never find yourself in a situation that you cannot fend for yourself. And something that is the case, but you should never give up on yourself. I know sometimes for different life circumstances, you do have to probably depend on your partner, especially if y'all in a marriage, but that don't give, but when a relationship is bad, you always want to find a way out that toxic situation. If it's empowering yourself to do better, got to move back home for a little bit. You got to do what you got to do to make yourself happy. It's just so many people in relationships for the wrong reasons who carrying around these titles. They're not happy with the person they with. I'm not big on no title. Like the way I used to view marriage when I was 25 is totally different now in my 30s. I had this big idea that I would get married, meet somebody. We had this happily family ever, you know, the lifetime picky fence. That shit ain't true and it's not reality. These people got some real problems out here. You got to be really careful. You dealing with people with their past trauma, their past baggage, relationship issues, family issues, childhood trauma issues, and they haven't dealt with this baggage they bring into your relationship, mental health issues, substance abuse problems, all types of things, gambling problems, irresponsibility, bad credit. If they haven't dealt with getting themselves together, it can bring you down. You got to be really careful who you're in a relationship with because you can be in a relationship with a person who can bring you down. That's why it's so important to be mindful of who you dealing with. And then a lot of people will judge people for being single. I'd rather be single and happy. Like my house is my peace. It's my sanctuary, especially over 30. And I remember I was in my twenties. It was times where I like to be around a lot of people. I love being with people. I love being in relationship, but now I'm in my thirties. I done grew out of that. Like I can be alone. I don't have to be in a relationship. If you bringing me down and you're toxic, I don't want to be with you. I don't care. Like, if you're not bringing nothing to my life, I cannot be in that relationship with you. When I go in my house, I got to have peace there. I work on my ass off. Working multiple jobs, running a business. So when I go home, I need peace. I need to be able to meditate, get myself back up to do it all over again. And I feel like when I go home, you're supposed to bring me peace and happiness when I come home and you at night. If you're not catering to me and I'm catering to you when I go home, whether we cooking for each other, running each other bath water, rubbing each other feet, massages. That's why I want to go home to nice home, cook meals, relationship dates, going out to eat, going to the movies, going to concerts, traveling, stuff like that. We're not doing that after we get off our work and out taking care of our business. Then what is we doing here? What is we doing for real? We're not bringing no happiness to my life. And don't get me wrong, people do go through shit, but you need to clear up your baggage before you come to me. Like, at 30, I got low tolerance for shit I dealt with in my 20s. I'm not dealing with it. That's why I'm not interested in a fake relationship title. I'm not interested. I'm not interested into a fake relationship title. You can keep that over there. Like, it, that don't oppress me. A title don't oppress me. It don't. Stability do. Loyalty do. Okay? Mental stability, not just financial stability. You're mental. Where you at up here? You know what I mean? Like, that's important to me. Because if you're not stable up here, it's not going to work. It's going to always be toxic dealing with you. I can't have that around me at this point. But my people over 30, we done with that shit. In your 20s, we in our 30s now. I ain't trying to repair nobody. Repair yourself for you come to me. Come to me whole. Come to me stable. Come to me ready to be on with our own, if it, you know, a stable, happy relationship, man. If it ain't that, I don't want it. But y'all can drop your comments below. I'm just kicking it with y'all about these fake relationship titles. It's your girl, Dre. It's always free game. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, man. Let's help the channel grow. Peace out.